Personally, I think it's, it's social media. I agree with you. Like, <laughs> social media is the main reason. Social media really... <laughs> Can the I devil. curse? Can I curse? <laughs> it's the devil. <laughs> Can I curse? Yeah, sure. Social, social media fucked the world up. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I'm yeah. just going to be completely honest. Like, you have kids killing themselves because they're being bullied online by yes. people who don't even know them. Yeah, yeah. So, it's really, social media is really just a problem. Like, don't get me wrong. There are some positives to social so, media. There's a lot of negatives. But exactly. Like, it's got kids killing people. It got relationships failing because you see Keisha man giving her flowers, but you don't know that Keisha man been cheating on her. Keisha ain't <laughs> that out but nah. she posting her flowers and her chocolate exactly. that he gave her now you but it's because, exactly <laughs> oh, the whole time your man ain't do yeah. nothing wrong and all he's really doing is loving on you Welcome back to the Beat Em Model Podcast. Before you watch this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'm your host, Teddy J. And I'm Big Neil. And today we have a wonderful guest straight from Miami, Florida, the beautiful Miss Lakita. Hello, hey, how, y'all doing? how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> we got a um, media host, model. And much more. Tell us all about yourself and what more do you do? Okay, so I am an entrepreneur. I host baby showers, yacht parties. Um, I am a content creator for business owners. Okay. I, um, I produce content where they will get more sales for their business. I am a model. I am. I also I incorporate creative directing into my modeling for my clients when they look for, like if they need more models, if they need um, outfit inspiration, if they need a makeup artist, if they need a photographer, um, because I, I work with a lot of out of state um, brands. Okay. So I do help them find things like that are around my way. Nice, nice. So where are you from? I'm exactly. A, I'm originally from Miami, Florida. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> originally. Nice. And how long have you been doing this? Take us back to the roots. When did you get this motivation inspiration to model to get into the media networking just be all around that stuff. hustler that's what so getting into the media started in 2019 for sure that's when i used to go live every day on facebook okay. um now i've been acting since i was in like the third grade i used to do school plays um when i was um in aftercare nice. what, what do they call it after school care after care yeah. yeah right so that's when that's when i really really started and i've always loved it always mm-hmm. okay that's right we've been looking for actors too for the Peter <laughs> model network we're gonna have to keep in contact of course. see what you got of hey course. on our short films that's what we're doing next short okay. films and before you did this or even while you was doing this because i was following you before you had a um like a self-defense company yes. right how did that start and tell us the story behind that okay so that started because i had a friend who was in a domestic violence relationship and i was really just trying to help her get out um now, overall, there were so many women when I was living in Memphis, Tennessee at the time, there were so many women that were in domestic violence relationships and they just felt like it was OK. Mm-hmm. It's, to me, it's not OK. I've never been in one. I n- right. I've never been physically abused verbally right. and mentally. Yes. But physically, no, I was never abused. So seeing that it was just like this is just not normal. Like yeah. I didn't even grow up with my parents, you know, abusing yeah. each other. So. Right. I was just really trying to find a way for women to get out, women to help themselves. Like, you know, we can't beat men. Men are much mm-hmm. bigger than us. They're stronger than us. But if you got a weapon and he don't know that you have mm-hmm. one, then why not? You right, know, like, right. why not use this against him? Whether it's a knife, a pepper spray, a taser, you know, just anything that you can just to at least stop him from attacking you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, so you personally were never in a situation like that? No, thank God. Okay. And... When you had that, did, were you like showing people how to use of course. those things? Yes. Yes. I was showing people how to keep them away from the kids, how to charge them. Um, I was even telling people like how, like how to be precautious about when you use your pepper spray. You don't want to use that on a windy day. Mm-hmm. Well, you better have some type of goggles or something on because uh-huh. that blowback is going to be serious. Right. Okay. Okay. So tell us 
What would you like tell a young woman who wants your advice on on being ready, defending herself from that situation? What advice did you give to the uh, young woman who hit you up on that? Um, you mean as far as protecting themselves? Yeah. yeah. Like what should they like? How to pay? Okay. Yeah. What I would tell them is always pay attention to your surroundings because mm-hmm. you never know who is watching you. Don't just be one of those people where you immediately walk outside of the door Mm -hmm. and don't like look out your people. You do not know who is outside waiting for you. Like Mm -hmm. you just really need to be on your P's and Q's at all times. Like at all times, like double take, look around. You don't know. Yeah. Especially being a lady and most ladies, you know, be, Less stronger than men, like you said. Right, so you and that's another really thing. Like I was followed before, and I had no clue. Right, you need to double, like you circle around the block. Do not just go straight home. Right, you right, need right. to circle around that block, and every time you <coughs> circle around the block, you need to come back a different way. Yeah, I had a scenario yeah. where my wife got followed home one time. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So I look. Luckily, I always used to make sure you know she get home safe. So when she was coming up the stairs kind of fast, I'm like I see the car. And it, she trying to get in the house, so I'm like, oh man, somebody don't follow her. Wow. And luckily, I was there because you know, yeah. who knows what could happen. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just saw a video about that. This lady was going inside her house. Her door, yeah. yeah. You saw the video, mm-hmm. and yeah. as soon as somebody was just coming behind her, and luckily yeah. her dude oh, yeah. was in there, yeah. and he ran out and stole on him. Yeah, oh, man, wow. that's crazy. Yeah, so it is. Yeah, crazy. Women, y'all be safe out there. Y'all got to make sure yeah, y'all definitely. keep y'all head on the swivel. And now, since we're on that domestic violence subject, um. I wanted to talk about relationships, domestic violence. Are there ways that man and woman, even a woman dealing with a man, can prevent certain domestic violence situations? As in, let's say if it's an argument, do you think there's things that, even though there's never no reason yeah, no, or no. justification for a guy to put his hands on a female or vice versa? Or vice versa. Yeah. So do you think there's ways women have escalated that situation or maybe they can de-escalate the situation. I feel like the the best way to de-escalate that situation is go to the store. Try leave to get the out. house. Yeah, at, at, least, get out. at least yeah. that's what I did. Every time I got into an argument with him, I would just leave. Like, mm-hmm. I'm going to walk out the door because I don't want to do this. I don't right, care right. to argue with you because it mentally I'm done. Because yeah. Yeah. a lot of these days, and females... maybe that's what saved me. Yeah, yeah that's maybe. Right. Yeah. But females sometimes, they like you said, like you can't really they be the man. But they want to get up in the dude's yeah. face. They want to swallow up. No. You know what I mean? They want to call him out of his name nah. or, yeah. or put and, a hand to his face or whatever. Yeah, and that's just I mean? going to make the situation it's gonna make it worse. worse. I, feel, I feel like when people are mad, they should not talk to each other because yeah. Yeah. you don't want to regret something that you're going to say. Or do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mainly do, though. Cause. Yeah. So yeah. me, I'm not talking to nobody while they're mad. I right now to this day, I don't even yell at my man right now. Right, like it's shouldn't. it's no yelling. When we're mad, we just don't talk. Like I will, right. and I'm one of them people. Like I grew up in a household where my mom yelled at me, so it's hard to break that. But yeah. coming like now, being with him, it has forces. It has forced me to just sit back and be like, I don't want to talk to you right now because I'm not gonna treat you as if I love you. Oh, okay. So so how how after the fact, how do people? gauge when you can start talking because you don't know you might think that person's not mad no more but they may still be mad like so how long you do you back off how long yeah. would you give a person to not talk how long does it take you in your relationship 30 minutes an hour i a wouldn't day? say 30 minutes it doesn't take a day yeah. all i know is if we argue at night by the morning he's in that room apologizing i'm sorry we you know i should have said that i should have handled it this way mm-hmm. you know we're apologizing immediately because life is so short yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. like what if i would have jumped in the, like and i never just jump in the car and leave when me right. and him get into an argument i'll yeah, probably yeah. sit on the porch but right, right, right. i would never just leave the house like yeah. how i used to do <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think that's crazy. i think that's crazy you know I, i've you know seeing relationships when a woman would just take off oh jump i would in take the car, off i would leave. jump off and i would just go but when I yeah. jump, when I would take off, I would just start praying mm-hmm. because I, I was praying for God to get this man away. But then from that's me. back to the safety yeah. thing. Now that you're taking off, you don't know where you're going. So now that leads back to the being unsafe thing that, again. That's like that's true. So, and see, I didn't even think of it because yeah. it was a lot of men who lived like around me. Yeah. And what if somebody heard y'all yeah. argue? Now he know you really ain't tell this man where you went. You're just <laughs> driving off, especially the, right. depends so if it's, it's a like a late of, night. Yeah, and yeah. it was nights when yeah. I was just up and oh, late. Oh, man. So it was, oh, man. It's a cycle all the way around. Yeah, it is dangerous. But what it's I dangerous. will say is, 
even if you don't have nowhere to go, mm-hmm. always put it in your mind. I'm going to the police station. Like right. yeah. even if you show yourself on at least on the camera or something, your car, yeah. something, because they got cameras out there. You know, yeah, you need to be somewhere home. well lit. And, you yes. Know, that has yeah. Don't just stuff, be like... going in no alleys. I want no. Memphis is not mm-hmm. safe. Let me just tell you. <laughs> so when I went somewhere, it would just be on a drive, yeah. and I would I would talk to God. Right, right, true. And just to piggyback, um, I, was, I saw your latest topic, one of your topics on your social media. You were talking about how relationships, like what can make relationships last. I guess you were comparing it to like relationships of the past lasting longer mm-hmm. and why today's relationships are not lasting. Mm-hmm. So that's the question I'm posing to you. What makes you, th- why do you think today's relationships aren't lasting? Personally, I think it's, it's social media. I agree with you. Like, social media is the main reason. Social media really. Can it's I curse? Can I curse? It's the devil. <laughs> can I curse? Yeah, sure. Social, social media fucked the world up. Yeah. Like, and yeah. I'm just going to be completely honest. Like, you have kids killing themselves because they're being bullied online by yes. people who don't even know them. Yeah, yeah. So, it's really, social media is really just a problem. Like, don't get me wrong. There are some positives to social so, media. There's a lot of negatives. But lot exactly. Of negatives. Like, it's got kids killing people. It got relationships failing because you see Keisha man giving her flowers, but you don't know that Keisha man been cheating on her. Keisha <laughs> yeah. ain't air that out, but nah. she posting her flowers and her chocolate exactly. that he gave her. Now you but jealous. it's because, exactly. <laughs> the whole time, your man ain't do yeah. nothing wrong. And right. all he's really doing is loving on you. Right. Yeah, you got yeah. people thinking that people got money whole time. They borrowing their friends' money exactly. just to flash it. Exactly. Like, but I really feel like it's because of social it media. It turned everything to competition. Yeah. Yes. You know? Everything yeah. is a competition. People like, oh, um, that can never be me. Can't relate. Like, I feel yeah, like those yeah. are competition words, and we're not in a yeah. competition if we all trying to win. Exactly. Yeah, we all trying to be our best self. You really can't, you know. Right. You only need to compete with yourself. Exactly. Yeah. It. Exactly. Like, yeah, and it's bad if you know. You'll go through a relationship because people want to just post everything they're going through on social media. Yeah, that. So they'll let people know, okay, I'm going through this. My man did this. Then oh, the social finished. media response will be like, hey, girl, leave, leave, him, leave that leave guy. Him. Why are you dealing with him? You got to leave him. Leave him. And they're like, man. Yeah. And they listen to it because it's a big um, well, influence. And that's that's the problem. I feel like you should know when your relationship is good enough where you should have certain people you're going to vent to, mm-hmm. which I say successfully married people. Yeah. Who you should vent to, not people who were married and got a divorce, because yes. remember they don't see things. The or same. people who's yeah. never been married. Exactly. So you got to be very careful who you're venting to. And marriage is supposed to be a lifelong thing. People forget that. Like it's supposed to be till death do you part, but it it encompasses a whole lot of things. A lot of stuff gonna happen. You know, say you be married ten years. Mm-hmm. A lot can happen in 10 years. Yeah. yeah. But people just want to be married only Hell. for the good times. Only for the good times. You know what this guy said? He said that people are only getting married for the wedding. Yeah, like just the wedding. Just they're the, not the ring and prepared the wedding. for the actual marriage, like yeah, actually yeah. doing the work. The work. That's what it's it is, work. the work. It's work. These days people feel like the marriage is only good when things are good. Good, yeah. But you got to understand, when you become one with someone, you got to know, you gotta no one's together. perfect. And, and together we're not going to be perfect. So. Nah. You're going to mess up sometimes. I'm going to mess up. We all human. Mm-hmm. Right. So the whole point of a marriage is to be able to support each other, uplift each other. Yeah. And to be with each other through the thick and, and thin. And thin, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, so. you know, when you build a family, your kids may, you know, go through hard times in school. You ain't going to just leave your kids. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. why would you leave your spouse right. when y'all going through hard times? Like, right. People, people try not to compare their kids and their spouses, but how did you get those kids? You know you, what I'm saying? You know what I think with the whole how you say you say you won't leave your your kid behind, um, and people just feel like they don't have to deal with stuff. I think yeah. it's because us women, and it's not just women, but I'm just speaking because of from my personal experiences. But we have dealt with so much bull shit <laughs> yeah, yeah, that we do. don't have to deal with so now it's like <clears throat> we just feel like i'm not dealing with this i'm out of here but why women always feel like they only are the ones dealing with bullshit That's a good question well <laughs> men yeah. do shit i think because they dealing with bullshit yeah men are fed up i think that's the reason why relationships aren't really lasting because nah, nah, nah. women I leave quicker than men w- women gonna usually be the one too? that leave yeah yeah, oh, 80% yeah, because, of the boys. Because a man feel like shit. Once you women. once you doing everything I need you to do, it's, it's on you now. It's it's up to you to know how much do you love yourself. I no, like no, that's it, how explain. Like, like, hold up. Back that up again. Now man do, say that again. Men okay, this is what I know for a fact. Let's say if 
a man, a man. Sometimes men get comfortable with what you're doing, like when we overplay our part. So a man is not going to leave if even if he know you overplaying your part and he he know you want to be married, but he know he got he's not going to marry you like he's not going to leave. He's going to wait women, for you to wake women up. Women always feel like they overplaying their part. Like, But you don't think so? <laughs> no, I feel, I feel like I've overplayed my part in in my last relationship. I do. That's, yeah, that's why you play your bad. You right. women always think they overplaying their part. <laughs> Well, not always. Even, no, not I don't know that. no woman it's, that doesn't feel like they overplaying their but part. But you sometimes even if they we deal with people that are even ungrateful. Um, you talking about women? No, well, men. I'm saying we oh. deal with men that are just so ungrateful. It's like, mm-hmm. damn, I did this, I did this, I did this, and now you still women are ungrateful. Okay, let's run it back. We, let's I agree. Say, like, I agree. In most relationships, who do you feel is doing more of the doing, a man or a woman? That's an easy. Gotta know what a woman. Let me see what you gonna say. What do you feel is doing more of the are doing? Are we talking about somebody who's married? No, in a general relationship. In a regular relationship. Regular relationship. It, regular relationship. Does, does this relationship have kids? Not yeah. yet. Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Just say not yet. Who do you think is doing more of the doing and who's usually bringing more to the table? I think the man at that point in time. Okay. So you believe, so you were saying, you was asking about the kids because you believe that once the kids come into the picture. Once the kids. Things change. And Men do. don't Women have change. patience. Yes. Men don't have patience. I feel like patience. the only Women time the a woman Women really loves this. you, really loves you and focuses on before the man is kids. before the kids. Because once the kid comes, the, the love forget the about the love the she had for you because it becomes my my my, my kid, the, the my most baby. thing I love in the world now is this baby. You yeah. know, I'm what? giving all my love to this baby. <laughs> yeah. You secondary. The baby hungry. I'm feeding the baby. You, you can eat scraps. Fin, whatever yeah, you get, you know what I mean? Do you guys really feel that way? <laughs> yes. I got to let my men. man hear this. <laughs> most <laughs> men feel that way. Okay. Yeah, most men. most men. Okay, well, this is the thing. Some men are not as, they're not as connected to that child as we are. Some men feel nah, like, you the mom, you, you just need to do that. That's so, how some men so really, really that feel. that men don't do nothing for their kids. I'm not saying that. Because that's how women feel. Like, it seems well, like that. Well, this I'm is, not speaking for all women, but it seems as if women feel like men don't do nothing for their kids. Well, this is this is why I feel that way, because I have dealt with somebody who hasn't. And some but of them don't even give the guy a chance to do something with their kids. Because yeah, as soon as the so, kid is born, do, now they're like, <laughs> I'm, I'm a weaponize this kid right here. Yeah. If you're not if you're not doing right, you didn't get me what I need, guess what? Oh, I got no. the kid. See, it's mine. That's what yeah. I wanted. See, I'm... I'm I'm not one of those mothers. But you do you do agree that those Women mothers do. do exist? Yeah. And yeah, they of exist course. at a high level. Like how, you know, a lot of them. It, yeah, of course. Especially when she's not able to get what she wants, of course. I definitely think that there are women out there like that. I hope I don't run into one because yeah. you can't be my friend doing stuff like because, that. Because, like, I was watching this show called Insecure, the latest one of the episodes, mm-hmm. and the guy got her, the, his girl pregnant. But they weren't together at that time. But he wanted to be like the best father possible. And she wanted him back. But just because she he didn't want to be with her, she was finding every reason to make him not spend oh. time with his kid, mm-hmm. doing this until when he was like trying to get back with her. Then she let him back in. You see, yeah. so she basically used the used kid, the kid to kind of bring him yeah, into the relationship. To me, even 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 if a guy doesn't is not with you, mm-hmm. the father's not with you, but he wants to be that hundred percent father. I'm you need, you him. should let him. I, I will. I will. And I, I feel like if, if somebody is really, really want, if they want this and they're actually trying, mm-hmm. why not? Why deny them? Yeah, women do it. But uh, uh, back fool, to what you were saying kids. about the kid, like you asking in the relationship, is there kids? In the beginning, a woman do have to do more for the kid because you got to, you know, you got to breastfeed or feed. or In the beginning, you are doing, you are doing more for the kid. Right. But men... Be hands on with their kid as much as they can. Women gotta understand that, like I said in the beginning, it's gonna be you because you got that first connection with that the nurture kid. Yes. that moment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying like me, I, I speak and for I can me. agree with that. When my kids were born, both of them in the middle of the night, I get up. I ain't had no breast to feed them with, but I can get a bottle and feed them. So me, I'm sure it's other men like me that did that for their kids. Like they up in the middle of the night letting their girls sleep. Yeah. So it's like. I, I just feel I like, like women you, don't always give that credit of what a man can do and that they do right. because you're not going to be able to do everything that a woman going to do for a kid because you can't. I think the problem comes in when it's like when I have to force you to do things. Like mm-hmm. what? Give me an example of what women usually have to force men to do. Like if the baby is crying and he's bottle fed, 
Get up. Stop sleeping through the night, especially if you don't have a job. I agree with that. <laughs> Why you ain't got no job? <laughs> I agree with that. I agree with that. You need to get your ass up all the time. That's going to be your job. I'm, I'm yeah, just, if you ain't got a job, Why you even have a baby for me? <laughs> like, right. If a nigga ain't got a job, that well, needs to be his job. I'm telling you. Right, but Warm them bottles up. For real. <laughs> you need to do everything you Wake up, all can that around shit, this you know house. What I mean? I'm telling you, take yeah. out the garbage twice. Because... <laughs> Cause you, ain't no, you ain't got no job. Ain't no excuses. I mean, anything yeah. can happen, pandemic and whatnot, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to find ways We're to We're not going to use the pandemic as an excuse because nah. there was a <laughs> pandemic, okay? <laughs> That's not hey, even an I, excuse. I, yeah. These men, you half these men line. were lazy before the pandemic even yeah. came. Okay, so like, we're going to do that like again. If a woman, a woman should vet whether a man lazy before she even allow him to make a yeah. baby with her. Of course. That's the same thing I said. Yeah. You, did you just realize this guy ain't got a job his whole <laughs> yeah. life? The last five years, he didn't have a job. But exactly. so now most you got women, a baby. you know, the, check check it out. The, the guy who does have the job mm-hmm. will come and try to get with him. The nice guy. Yeah. And that's the guy they'll flag off. Yeah. But then Jody, Pookie, whoever it is with <laughs> Ray no Ray job. Ray. Jody, Pookie, Because he's hitting it left to right, whatever it is. That's the guy they'll take and say, let me try to mold this guy yeah. and change him. Ain't no changing no But more. you realize that nigga was the same way how you found him. And that's you the way he is now. After you make that baby with him, you know that's I mean? why you're going to leave him. Right, right. <laughs> he so ain't changed. We agree that part of keeping relationships or making them last long is uh, to, to vet, vet, vet someone. You yeah. need to vet them out, like, yeah. completely. Yeah, but at the same token, an 18-year-old is not going to be the same at 36. So, you know, but people change. you shouldn't give him no baby at 18. I though. do think that people change. They change. You know, you grow, you evolve, but don't give him no baby at 18. You know what right. I'm saying? And, and then expect wait. him to be a full grown, like, yeah, like you know what wait. he's doing. And I, I feel like, honestly, I can cut a little bit of slack for the new, you know, first time fathers. I can give them a little bit of slack because, mm-hmm. like, this is new to them true. just as much as it's new to you. Right, right. right. You know, because my, my second child's father, that was that was his first baby, right. so it was just like he's not used to how I'm de- how I'm reacting to things, yeah. like I'm blocking him, mm-hmm. like because like you're not understanding me. You blocking right. him on the phone? Yeah, just on the phone. Why are you blocking him on the phone? With it? Just yeah, before the, the baby? Or toxic what? energy. This was before the baby. Oh, no, we we ain't have no bad the blood. After, never blocked, after the baby, I have had no problems with him, like right, right, right. none at all. Yeah. Um, it was just before the baby. It was before we was even living together. So, right. so well, we're good now. You mentioned the job. So let's say the man has a job, you have a job. In a relationship, do you feel like it's the man's job to take care of all the finances? Always take you out on the date. Always pay for the date. Always pay for the tip. Always buy you the gifts. What do you feel? I don't. Okay. It first of all, this should go both ways because I'm. I'm just how I receive i'm supposed to give as well like i don't feel yeah. like it should just be only me getting rewarded in a relationship like good men definitely definitely yeah. so you believe women rewarded. in a relationship should take their man out on a date sometimes of, if he taking you out on a date yeah. yes and like when yeah. i say take him out meaning you pay for the whole pay for bill. the whole night he shouldn't yes. have to worry my baby taking me out tonight yes right? but <laughs> there are some men where they're like no what you mean that they don't want you paying for stuff? That, yeah, yeah, it's something. Like now, if a man says no, like, that's different. But if a yeah. man that hasn't well, I said feel no, like, I feel like women should definitely if the, if that man is doing it for them. Yeah, mm-hmm. let me be very clear about this because there are men that will use women, you know, and be yeah, like, oh yeah. well, yeah, I'm doing it for you. You can do it for me, you know. But that's not used. That's just reciprocation. Yeah, yeah, but some men just do just enough, just so you you can do something. Okay, and if it's just enough, then you need to do just enough too. <laughs> that, that, that's all I'm that. saying right there that's <laughs> the all I'm saying do just enough like if he takes you out on like two dates in a row you, get you might feel date. like then let me take him out on, on right. let me do and, I, and I feel like yeah. anytime I feel like anytime I come home from the store I feel like I should always come home with something for him like yeah. that's the type of woman I am I like yeah, that yeah, like yeah, whenever I go, I don't care if, if I'm going to buy me a pair of panties I'm bringing him back some socks something or something anyway. yeah. just something something he should come I should bring back something in the house for him I feel that's nice nice that's a good that's a good woman yeah that's good Good traits. <laughs> so, how do you feel people should handle the hard times? Yeah. Y'all gonna have to pray. Y'all gonna have to pray, and y'all have to know that and forgive everybody. Every everyone outside of your home is working against you. Oh, yeah. Y'all gotta know that oh, yeah. y'all have to come together. And yeah. even they might be working against you, not on purpose either. It's just like. 
they they stuff might not be going right. So they just exactly. putting out energy. Yeah. That well, misery loves company. Yeah, exactly. Just, I don't yeah. think it's all. So you you just gotta y'all you gotta say you gotta they gotta be your best friend. Y'all gotta be able to talk about any even the shit that's gonna hurt them. You gotta be able to talk about that type of yeah. stuff. Because you know what's weird? Like men usually can talk more. Like let's say if they have a side chick with a side chick than their regular girl. Because your so why regular you think that is though. Why you think? Because your regular girl is so I think they're more caught up in their feelings. It's more like everything just has to be it's about the, it, them. At this point, it's no longer a friendship to them. It's just yeah. a relationship. That's why they can't talk to their girl anymore. Like you can't even, like, with, you, with some girls, you can't even say, hey, you know, that girl looks good. Like, they just, they would, like, take it as offense. Yeah. Instead of, as a friend, like, See, yeah. See, and yeah. not me, because I'm the one, oh, look at her booty. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if you say if it's first, been, I think that's a cool relationship. If, yeah, if you say exactly, first, like, that right. ain't her booty big. If you can you tell know, your girl, like, I'm like, not yeah. gay or anything, but it's like, that ain't her booty big. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather say something before you be like, damn, so you know, I, you, before I catch you looking. I'm ask him a question. So how would you feel if your your, your girl was like, dang, that, that guy sexy, or he got some... I'll nice take it long as she can take it if I say it about a female. I don't, well. I don't think a woman should be saying that about Well, you said like, well, but... Like, you talking about in real life? In real life. We just say in real life. Because sometimes I'm watching TV and my girl be like, them comments them smirks i'm gonna yeah. keep that to myself and it's but not it's that real, i'm being it's real though if you do it, it is real but i'm the, the most i say is oh he's attractive that's yeah, it. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's all about how, right it's yeah. all about how you say it. you just want to show your partner like i still yeah, he love got some you. nice eyes or he, he you know he got right. a nice body Mm-hmm. Or dang, so I it's like you know, if a man that, can't take that, that's more like a shot. It, it could be a shot. It could be if a guy come on the TV and you know you like, let's say you're out of shape. <laughs> and, <laughs> you and a guy the comes though. on the TV and he's like, like with no shirt, six pack, and she's mm-hmm. like, damn, he fun. Yeah, nice. Body. So you're like, damn, what am what am <laughs> Wait, I? You got so also she's, think too that men do it all the time though. Yeah. We, we we put women on blast about they looks. Not to be, I'm, I'm not even trying to be politically <laughs> politically correct. I begin put, put on that saying that. <laughs> You should be able to take oh, it. Oh, there's nothing wrong with your lips. But no, 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 no. I get put on blast. I put him on blast too. We we joke yeah, a lot. Like, women don't want women don't want anything negative going their way, even if it's a helpful negative. Yeah. Yeah. Right? If a guy says, like Hey babe, you know, negative. let's let's go work out or you look how you gain a little they take anything negative, like to the extreme. But I think I think it's all about how you say it to a woman. You know how can you call a woman fat? In you, any way. You bet not, first of no, all. No, not straight up. You, <laughs> you just fat, to, but I'm just you saying. You just have to be you, like, you just, I, I feel like when you break up way? the past and be like, you know, babe, remember when we used to work out? Remember when we used to write down our goals? Let's start back getting to stuff oh, like that. Like, mean. it's you have to, if you can sauce us up, like, to mm-hmm. make us still feel like that bad bitch, like, man, I know, man. Like, because how my boyfriend does it, he'd be like, man, just imagine if you started working out. Man, them, these things ain't going to be able to take that. Like, that's how he'll be like, man, yeah, I already motivation. love you now. Yeah. So just imagine if you start working out. But the like, thing no, is, you got to also body. feel that for yourself. Yeah. Cause let's say as soon as he stops motivating you, then you just like, oh. gotta be, yeah, you know, yeah. Gotta he, also be in you, yeah, man. I agree, but it's all about how you say it the first go yeah. round. You know, you don't yeah. be like, man, you know, you putting on some pounds. I'm not really feeling this. <laughs> 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 like, don't be hey. like that. You don't be like, you well, know, at least being honest. <laughs> no, but it's like, nothing wrong with honesty. Like, it's how okay, you say it, though. my boyfriend, he can be honest to me, but he has to be honest. Like, if he's honest in a playful way. I'm, you might I'm, be able to take it better. I'm taking that 10 yeah, times yeah. better. Okay. Or it, even if he's saying something in a very sincere way, be like, man, like when he told me everybody don't deserve access to me, he was like, yeah, I understand people clinging to you, but that don't mean you have to talk to them. True. That's true. You I get what I'm that. saying? Like, you can't get it by And it's not like he's saying... I don't want you in all these niggas' faces. It's just <laughs> you don't need to be that. talking to these niggas. Like, that. <laughs> he is, but, but it's he how he's right worked. Yeah. Exactly. Right it's like yeah. people don't deserve access True. to me. Like, True. why are you t- why are you even communicating with this type of person? They can't even offer you anything. True, I agree yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah, so it's just all about how you work. Your boyfriend it. older? Yeah. <laughs> Sound like it's older him. than yeah. me. Well, he's still older. Yeah. Okay. He got a little wisdom. I like that. I just learned something. Yeah. So basically, shout so, out to your boyfriend. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to him. Hey, baby. So you do believe forgiveness is part of a relationship? Of course, you gotta forgive in order to move forward. Okay. Yeah. Because some women say, "Oh no, once this person does something, I, I can't forgive it." I feel okay. Right. So if that's the relationship, they're like, "No, as soon as he does that's this, dead. I can't forgive him. I don't care if I'm married or not. It's, that, it's a wrap." 
What do you what do you think? What you get into a relationship for? Because we're all gonna make mistakes. Your kid yeah. is gonna make a mistake. Yeah. Mistake. A bad mistake. Yeah, a so what you gonna mistake. say? What you gonna say? Like, what if your child goes to rob a bank? Like, what you gonna say? I can't forgive him for that. Like, no. But that's why I say women, when it comes to love, it's really about their kids. Mm -hmm. It's unconditional yeah. for the love what they have for the man is like a little Some paper love, paper weight. Neck. The kid, the kid can murder, kill, do whatever. She's still finna go, oh, that's my baby, hug him, kill him. Let her dude do anything. I feel like it's a different. I feel like it depends. It depends on the relationship with that dude. And the reason I say that is because if you were honest with me about the type of lifestyle you had beforehand, I can yeah. respect that. But if you haven't told me anything that you did before you got with me. So we can't me, be liars up front. That's what you said. Don't lie to me. <laughs> yeah. Like women do. Women personally, the truth. if any man lies to me, I'm done. Yeah. So you prefer the truth? You better so give it to me. So if a guy says, hey, you, know, you, know, girl, you know, but she want the truth. I want she the wanted truth. Soft, I soft stuff. She want a little honey on no, the No, 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 no. You just said that. You so can, if a guy you cheats, you want the blunt and truth. I want the truth. You know, hey, I slept with her. I don't really like her. I'm not, I don't, <laughs> don't I don't tell me you don't like, like her because you like something about her. Like, I feel like that's bullshit on top. You trying to put a, sprinkle a little, a little no, sugar no, no, on no. top. Men, men can sleep with a chick even if you don't like her now. You like something about her, though. Well, you miss my like the action, you know. Body, you man, like you, know? you like something, so don't tell but me that you don't, don't mean like, like her. as in like you as liked in her enough to lay with. down with her. Like as in want to be with. I believe when females sleep with a dude, they actually want to be with. Them. Of course, you better nine believe nine it. Nine times out of ten, yeah. You better. I'm yeah. I'm telling you because that's why. I did. Well, we know that about women. But that's why you Most, did it. I did do it. I'm not ashamed of anything that I have done. Okay. I didn't want to be in a relationship, and I made it very clear to him. But yeah. that's what happens when you force people to be with you. Okay. Yeah. So since you didn't want to be in a relationship with him, you just showed him basically. Okay, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to leave me? I'm gonna leave you. <laughs> Did you tell him or he found out? He he found he okay. Mm. I never told so him. You weren't honest at first. I you, was you, not you honest. Okay. I was young. <laughs> okay. I was not honest till this day. I think he got a reading and somebody told him a psychic reading. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Different. Yeah, Men so, do that? yeah, <laughs> and nigga he, went all the way. <laughs> listen, when I tell you, I'm still dealing with this, the issues from right. this man. I'm right. still dealing with it. You, you ever tried therapy? I need to do therapy. Yeah, you need some therapy. I he do. needs some therapy. <laughs> I don't care what that man do, but I know I need therapy. Wow. I want to heal, and I'm just, I'm just ready to live my life and just not worry about the things that I accepted in my past. So, hey. do you believe that all relationships should be strictly? monogamous or do you feel like polygamy has its part as in all men and women more than likely have a side chick or a side dude out there you know <laughs> sometimes i sit back and think and be like can somebody really be a hundred percent faithful that's a question yeah it sounds to me it sounds far-fetched a little bit i'm not saying it's impossible but let's say you get in a relationship you're 20 years old 20 something whatever and he said okay i'm young i'm, I'm, I'm gonna be with, i'm gonna only be with you mm -mm. until i'm 100 or 80 whatever it is my whole life never want to be with anyone else and even if you are with someone else does that mean that you didn't love the other person not really not necessarily you might have you know what do you what's your opinions on that both of y'all i don't know hey. you married you yeah, need he, to answer no, 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 no. no, i ain't saying it because i'm married i'm just saying i don't really know because i'm like i'm human too i I wonder too sometimes, like, can somebody be with one person their whole? I think like, it's really possible, but being on social media, I feel like that can make hard, it right? impossible. Once you load up Instagram, Cause, nothing cause, but supermodels. Cause everything. And it's not even just the supermodels. Like, Spruce it can pictures. just be somebody regular who can just yeah. jump Cause, inside cause, of your inbox yeah. and just make you feel that's why I was good. Go. That's why I was going to go. Make with you it. feel good. That's the key that's word. That's cheating. You know what I'm saying? That's emotional cheating. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because, so, like, you really, you hear what you're she said? craving what you Make craving you that feel good. That so, because you already, a lot of times you're you in a relationship, you ain't feeling good. And your partner ain't making you feel good. But, you're not but, feeling good. But in, in that defense of that, sometimes you're just not feeling good and you're not going to allow your partner to let you feel, feel good. good. Yes. So, this other person may come along and no expectations. So, it's easy to feel good. Yeah. Because yeah, you allowed easy. it. You know it, but and then that that's another thing. Y'all don't even have any problems. It's yeah, no problem. So nothing. how is it gonna be? It's a white be sheet of paper. Exactly. Clean. You could be clean. with someone and he say, "Hey, babe, how come you never give me any compliments?" 
And they might be like, oh, nah, because you're already big headed. Yeah, or, you know what I'm saying? Those other girls be complimenting you. But, you know? does, it but maybe the man wants his girl to give, to give him compliments, yeah. to make him feel like a king. Make him feel good. Because that <laughs> hey, side, well, that side chick. That side chick is um, like that. Yeah, yeah, worshiping him probably, you know what I mean? Yeah. Simple stuff. Yeah. So, well, yeah, think, so I think about it too. Like, I'm married. Yeah, I've been married a long time. So, but I have, you know what I'm saying, done things that. Was outside of marriage, but I don't know if my wife have. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't even trying to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Trying to find out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because hey, you just don't know. Ooh, she I, she may be that unicorn. I'm hoping she is. You know what I'm saying? So so if a man cheats, about it. do you feel it's better that y'all talk about it and he lets you know? Do you do you feel like maybe once he does it? That gives you a pass to do it if you want to do it. I ain't saying that give me a pass because now you just cr- you creating more bullshit and more yeah. problems that y'all got to go through. And that's what I said in another um interview about monogamy with Will Smith and Jada. They allowed that, you know what I'm saying, polygamy type of relationship. Right. And look what happened. Exactly. Yeah, look, but it hurt right now. You know what I'm saying? So, But, I mean, monogamous relationships, a lot of people end up but hurt as well. Yeah. yeah so that's true. Humans that's true just too. being humans. You I know just... What I'm I don't know. I ain't sharing my man. Like I'm, <laughs> I, I don't play that. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm not playing the sideline. I'm no. You're gonna if <laughs> it's gonna sound bad, but yeah. if if anybody's gonna play sideline, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be him. <laughs> no, it's gonna I'm be him. him. Oh, it's gonna be him. <laughs> the guy. Sure. Like yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just not the sideline type of person because I'm so jealous. And it's like, who are you with? And where are like? I think I'm jealous. I ain't say everybody, in, but most people are jealous. Yeah. That's that's the problem. Most it's just people like, are jealous. Nobody because share I don't want. Stuff. Right, I don't, I don't ever want you, f- I don't ever want you to be like, oh well, she do this better in it. Like, no, it yeah. should never be another her. Like, but you know, yeah. unless you with a virgin, there's always gonna be another her, even well, if it's always. mentally, right or wrong. Yeah. You think Someone so? could be because everything. Whoever's yeah, physical with you and mental. Anytime a guy's with you, you don't think he's thinking about the person he was with before and doing mental comparisons. Mm. I mean, I ain't worried about the before girl, cause yeah. Women but, say that. Women no, I'm say really not. not no, her, the before they really don't. girl. I believe you. Probably really don't. Let me say this: the before girl, I'm not worried about her. But yeah. maybe the ones in the past, 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 past. That dude, that can put me on edge sometimes. Like it was times where I, I felt insecure about myself. I'm like, dang, but he like this type, and you know, like that has made me feel insecure, knowing the type of woman I am and what I mm-hmm. bring to the table. Yeah. Right. So yeah, but I'm. Personally, I don't get caught up in past stuff. Maybe that new stuff, that's something that I feel like somebody should worry about. More new stuff you should worry about versus past? Yeah, because new he, stuff as a new this, people. The, the type of person he is, he's not going back to his past. Yeah. Oh, well, hey, humans complicated. I can tell you that much. Yeah, you know yeah. So, but I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, it's slip ups that can happen both ways yeah, in both past ways. and in, yeah, and in, um, the new. Mm-hmm. Oh. So. And I it's feel like work in progress always. Yeah. What's making relationships not last, and also relationships in general going in a bad direction? Mm-hmm. Men are fed up, and men are fed up with more now than they things that are happening to them. And it might not be all relationships, but men are facing child support, yeah. right? And this is like you, women are using child support now for vin- vindictive. Yeah, they're using it in the wrong I mean? ways. They're yeah. facing okay. If I marry this girl and it's time to leave. Like with Dr. Dre, his wife, you know, people want to take spousal support, spousal yeah. support, well, alimony. He's like, what are you yeah. gaining you, you know, as a man besides sex, you know, consistent sex? That what else are you gaining? Consistent. And you're putting way more, a lot of times, at risk. Yeah. Child support. Those are tickets. Alimony. 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 Well, divorce. You know what I really you're talking think about the separation. Is with the. I don't, I don't comment on people's situations, so I'm going to just say this as an overall instead of just singling out Dr. Dre and them. Mm-hmm. But the problem is when you have a whole lot of money like that, you got to motivate your woman to get something going for herself yes. that where she, she can live. Like that. That. But this is the thing, where she can live that type of lifestyle that you gave nah, but her. Listen, she already got stuff going for herself, I'm sure. She just ain't have Dr. Dre, Dre stuff. stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. But, nobody but, can be Dr. Dre but Dr. Dre. Right. But well, that's the goal, to at least have something where she can be making oh, the she money was, that... She's straight. Now you, she, I'm sure she was able to live. She's living a better life than... The average person, the, the top average person. I mean, she right. 
I mean, it was just, she was making no superstar type money. She no, was just I'm a saying, regular. Just it's just because of who she's married of, to and his Dre. bank account is like, yeah. okay, it's my husband. So he gives me whatever I want. So over the years, you think that lady done slid some money in her own bank account? She probably did. Yeah. I mean, That's but, I mean. but I don't comment on people's personal situation. Why should a man still have to take care of you and after you the relationship is over? And I, then you have a new man and he's now he's the money he's and sending you. And you don't even want to get married again yeah, because like, you don't want to lose get the married new money. Because I'm going to keep getting... I think yeah, that's, that's a sucker position. I, th I think that's really, really selfish when people do things yeah. like that. It's like you're only doing that because you know you're still eating off of this person. Mm -hmm. If you know you want to... if And that's the thing. That's how you, you know that they're not really with somebody who really cares for them. Because they would be like, listen... Cut all this out. Stop that money. We together now. I'm yeah. the man. I'm going I'm to handle this. I'm going to exactly. take care of everything. So I feel like that That means whoever they're talking to, either they're not telling the person, you know, what's really going on, and that other person just doesn't take them serious. Mm -hmm. right? Because there ain't no real man going to allow you to, Get taken to be with them and still. You, exactly. exactly. Nah. Like, no real man Straight. is going to let you. No <laughs> real man. Ain't I got to. I gotta yeah. elaborate on that because the little boys will allow you to do stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Cause they, take somebody they, else's money and exactly. support our life. I, I'm good. I don't need no another dude money. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Man. I don't agree. I don't agree with men trying to get spousal support. I don't well, you know. I agree with that either. I feel like it's like city boys is yeah. down. I think it's <laughs> men. Men are trying to men. Like I said, men trying to. They, they're men, trying to find like that. Men trying, trying to, to turn it into women, man. Exactly. If you doing that, you turn well, it into because women like, exactly. are turning into men. How? But that oh, means well, you turn into, uh, um, women, women are turning color. into men by going to, out to get the bag. We're not waiting on men anymore. Yeah, yeah. But this is the and thing: and when women go get aspect. the bag, that they bag masculinity is down. their bag. That's the difference. Yeah. Men get the bag and to they share. The bag. Yeah. That's a man's but, natural, um, natural feeling to say, yeah, "Hey, yeah. I want to provide. I yeah, want to yeah, share." Yeah. Yeah. Woman but, is, I want the bag and keep it for myself. But this yeah. is the thing: if I'm gonna go, if I'm getting the bag, and I'm just gonna be completely honest, this is me not married. If I'm getting the bag and I have a man, I'm getting this bag for me and my kids because I don't know what this man gonna try to pull Let behind see. my but back. But that even when this, you're married, <laughs> you know what I'm saying even when you're married. Uh, so why would you? So basically, if I have a woman, if you're my woman, I'm getting the bag to take care of, help Us. take care of you, kids. And your bag is only for you and kid. No, so I'm who's saying, looking out for me? I'm saying if I'm just in a relationship and we don't know where this is going to go. Now, if it's marriage, I feel like this should be an all around. Like, I make sure you good. Be. You make sure I'm good. Okay, so boyfriend and girlfriend, serious boyfriend and girlfriend. You're not helping, living take, you're not helping taking care of him because you're not married, but he can take but care of you. Living together. Well, okay. So that this is current situation that I, I have right now. With this man, I feel like. I'm I'm taking I'm it goes both ways for it's us. Okay, good. It's going sure. both ways because I see the potential of our relationship and mm -hmm. I I hope I know where it's but, gonna go. Let me say okay, that. Okay, listen. Um the thing about potential, when you say that, what is that what does that mean? Potential of where the it's gonna go. Potential is the things that he has showed me. No, I'm saying the potential. What way. you call in potential. I I'm I know what I'm gonna say, but I wanna know what you say. Like as far as I, you where say our where it's gonna is, go, where is it going? Where where is that place that it's supposed to be going? The the goal is marriage. Okay, I just wanted you to say That's it always out the loud, goal, buddy. <laughs> I just want her to say it out loud. <laughs> That's I always knew the goal. You knew, yeah, but oh, I wanted oh, her okay. to say it out okay. loud. You the know goal is uh, the assurances. The goal is marriage. Women, women. want assurances. <laughs> yeah, resources. Right, they want them all from you. Stability. Right, that's the potential. That's what it means. That's why I said, what does a man get? Yeah. Men have to really look at marriage and really see. And I agree because my I brother get? is going through this right mm -hmm. now. He got married and. Nah, we ain't got to speak on your brother. We yeah, ain't got close. to, but. <laughs> that's too close. But man. I just yeah. feel like men <laughs> should be very, very careful. Mm -hmm. Like, and really vet mm -hmm. out. When they have things to lose. Yes. Really, really, really vet out this woman and make sure that this is going to yeah. be the one where she mm -hmm. she going to have your back if you. Yeah. In. Mm -hmm. In a hundred in a million dollars worth of debt. <laughs> yeah. You know, is she really gonna ride this wave to say, come on, we gotta get yeah. up out of this fucking hole together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, I like that. Yeah. And that's how it should be. Right. Like that. Because women gonna vet you for that. Exactly. <laughs> and if they don't get that, out the door they go. Exactly. Got you. <laughs> that's exactly. why eighty percent of them out the door. And they looking for a way to, you know, not be with this man because this man ain't living up to that potential. Great. Right. <laughs> so being a model, media host, you know. What's the future plans that you have with that? So my future plans is definitely, I ain't going to talk about money because I don't like for people to stop my bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, as far as working with, I want to work with 
bigger influencers, at least to 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 grow my page organically. Not I'm not trying to do it like in a fast way, but it's like you know we got to get the ball rolling. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I can't do it with regular people. Got you. And it's not even that I'm not trying to work with regular people, but it's like I'm the star of my own fucking show. Like I don't need regular people. Like I want to work with people who are serious about their their craft. Like people who are really getting like just going behind this shit you get what yeah, i'm saying yeah. like so i want i want to i definitely want to start working with other bit much bigger entrepreneurs to you know just to network with other people build great friendships um business relationships as well mm -hmm. um right now yeah. i'm really just focusing on locally to be completely honest like right now it's just me putting in that work right now just to get myself out there like as being seen as a model as being seen as a content creator for this year like mm -hmm. i'm not trying to i'm doing this i'm doing that i'm doing you know i'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying, trying to run myself trying crazy to hone in yeah. on it slowly yeah. exactly. you have a youtube channel i'm working on it okay i'm gonna post a video i'm just so, i need to get my thumbnail together so where can all the viewers follow you and see more of you where can they follow you? social medias etc so yeah. you can follow me on Instagram. My um, username is her personality with three Y's at the end. Mm -hmm. And my TikTok is the same, her personality with three Y's at the end. Um, on Facebook, you can find me under Laquita Young. Make sure you put the apostrophe, though, or you won't find me. Right. Where's the Tell apostrophe? Them the apostrophe. <laughs> the apostrophe <laughs> is right behind the A, in between the A and the Q. Gotcha. Spell it out because you know some people. L A apostrophe Q U I T A. Last name is Young. Got you. All right. And if you could go back and give your younger self advice on life, on business, love, what advice would you give her? Don't listen to anyone who hasn't done the things that you want to do. All right. Nice. That's good advice. And be your own fucking hero because ain't nobody <laughs> coming to save you. All right. And what, when it's all said and done, what do you want your legacy to be? I just want to make people laugh. <laughs> laugh hard as hell. <laughs> okay, well, you're pretty good yeah. at that. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to make, I just, and just to encourage people to have strength through whatever it is that they're going through. Like, you don't have to break down and cry about everything. Don't get me wrong. You're going to cry along the way about some things, but you do not have to break down and cry about everything. It's just, you got to start praying. You got to get closer to God. You got to keep God with you through throughout every, every step you take in life, every walk you're going to take, keep God with you because you're going to need that man more than you think it. Nice. And final question. What does be the model mean to you? Be the to me be the model means you need to be the person that you want other that you want people to see you as be the people be that person where you want people to look up to you be like dang man this girl really like she's a she's a fucking icon man i look up to her like i love the way she handled this she did this gracefully like that's that's what be the model to me means. yeah great. nice nice we like that i like that Thanks for joining us. We had a wonderful time wonderful talking time. to you. Man. Thank you guys so mm -hmm. much for having me. Yeah, great conversation. Yeah, it was great. Relationship talks, all that, you know. <laughs> Wish you much luck in all your future endeavors. Hopefully work together again as well. Guys, don't forget to follow Quita. What's all your social medias again? Her personality with three, three Ys. Ys. <laughs> all right, and don't forget to follow the Be The Model podcast. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know how you enjoyed this conversation that we had yeah. you know give your own uh input on all the topics we have we'd love to know what you think about it. and don't forget to follow kicking with key check out the great debate all the episodes on youtube like comment and subscribe and as we always say be great be unique and definitely be, be the, the model, model.